Hey, this is Professor Fay with your anatomy lesson of the day. If you look at this model, which is an overview of the lymphatic system, you can see that there are some lymph nodes scattered throughout the body, up here too, in the neck and head area. These lymph nodes are just named for the region of the body that they come from. And so what we're gonna do is make our own lymph node today out of some clay. If you have Play-Doh or you can make your own Play-Doh, uh, if you have enough kitchen ingredients, then this could be a fun activity to learn about a lymph node. So I've got the ball of clay, and then I've got some little logs of clay rolled out that I can use. You're gonna take the ball of clay and just smoosh it into a pancake. All right, so there's our little pancake of clay. I'm gonna add in some afferent vessels to one side of it. So put, I don't know, four or five of those on. afferent vessels take lymph into the lymph node. So we've got some afferent vessels all taking lymph into the lymph node. Then there's something called a subcapsular sinus that's going to run just under the capsule, which is like a connective tissue covering of the lymph node. So I'm just gonna put in this subcapsular sinus. There we go, afferent vessels take lymph in, then it runs through a subcapsular sinus. From there, it's gonna run through trabecular sinuses that head towards the middle of the lymph node. Put in a few of those. All right, so now we've got some trabecular sinuses and then there's a medullary sinus that kind of connects to all of those. So we'll put that in. There's no real rhyme or reason to that medullary sinus, like its shape or whatever, just a series of fluid-filled spaces that run through. And then the medullary sinus uh, delivers lymph to efferent vessels that take it out of the lymph node. All right, so one more time here. We've got some afferent vessels, four or five of them here that deliver lymph to the subcapsular sinus. That delivers lymph then to trabecular sinuses and then into a medullary sinus. From the medullary sinus, lymph flows out through just a couple efferent vessels. There are more afferent vessels than efferent vessels so that lymph can travel through this lymph node slowly. The change in number of vessels means that there's a bit of a traffic jam of lymph as it flows through this lymph node. There are white blood cells all over the place in these lymph nodes, and so the white blood cells can look at the lymph as it passes through to see if there's any germs in there that they recognize and ought to defend the body against. And so by having more afferent vessels, you get a bunch of lymph in, and only a couple of efferent vessels mean that lymph slowly drains out of this lymph node as it makes its way back towards your cardiovascular system. And that gives your immune system a better chance of seeing the germs that are in there and starting an immune response against them. So that is your anatomy lesson of the day.